Hello there guys, welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Project Hospital. And this time we are going to change up a little bit because we've been trying to design things for several episodes now. And I think it's time to mix it up a little bit. And actually, it's I don't have a choice. So let me show you in a second what I'm talking about. Takes a little time to start up. But before anything, I'm going to give you a little guided tour to our hospital as it looks now. Um, this is how it looks, well, with... Hold on. Okay, very good. This is how it looks uh, while I'm playing. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, looks a little bit different while I'm designing, but yeah, this is how I'm playing. All the different uh, departments are here. And then we go to the second floor. I want to get rid of this. This is the ER hospital, like um, down here is the ER department and this area is the hospitalization, this small area here. I'm going to get rid of that on the second floor and put it up later, you're going to see it. And this area, I'm probably going to go, I'm going to go and put pathology because unfortunately, we're probably going to have some people die. I have I think in the whole game uh, day 82 here I think I only had one person die so far and that's unfortunate because of the hospitalization was not properly done I should have been more you know empathetic empathetic to that guy and I just should have sent him to another hospital that's all and I didn't so sorry but anyway, so the second floor, we, we have all the, the departments, the, what is it, uh, cardiology and uh, general hospital. And we already, this is what we did, uh, no, this is not what we did last night. The second floor, we have traumatology, sorry. Okay, everything is nice. And the third floor is where we did a big movie last time. We did manage to build our internal medicine and I think I I think we did a pretty all right job with that I'm happy and we also have here neurology and orthopedia now this whole empty space in the middle there are there are two possibilities but I think really one I'm, I'm really thinking of um, having like radiology and some labs in the middle or other departments as well, but I'm not sure yet, okay? Maybe I end up with a hospital that has, it's like an, a, a, a U-shaped hospital, as it looks right now. I mean, look at that. The first floor would be, of course, fully done, and then second floor, third floor, no, sorry. Second floor, third floor, like this. Now, the fourth floor, I'm not sure yet. Now the fourth floor, here is where the hospitalization for damage is going to be. The reason is because I'm going to put some helicopters here. So let the new cases come in here from outside. Some could be, if there is no place inside, would come from the, from the ambulance once we have some. And come up here directly, that's okay too. And basically we're going to have them there. We're going to have some... Uh, what is it? Helicopters here. And then we're going to have this whole area. There's going to be a big uh, infectious disease because that's the only... Uh, that's So these are the things that we haven't done yet. So they're going to be the infectious disease. And as I said, here, I'm not sure yet. I might leave it again empty. You know, maybe it's going to be nothing there. Maybe I'm going to put some uh, administrative stuff. But there is actually, I was thinking, maybe one of the possibilities, if I look at the mods and I see something that really worth playing, 
please leave a comment below if you have any ideas. Is there any mod new department that really worth playing? Let me know and we might actually put some something up here. We'll see. For now I'm just playing pretty much vanilla. Other than I opened up that I actually ha I can have actually 32 different insurance open. Which of course we don't even have that many. But there are... I got two new um, insurance here that I can use right away. The money is not so good, but there is volume here. Now the only thing is... Um, I don't want to open it right now because I already have 84 people and right now it's not easy to handle. So what I'm going to do right now is we are getting back a little bit. We only have $15,000 or so, something. Let me just double check if the, all the planning is actually done properly here. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so we go down here. I just want to make sure that all the planning is actually completed, internal. Yes, we have all the corridors and everything properly done. Good. One more done. Traumatology done. That and that. Good. Okay. So, what I need to do is, for example, I want to move this up on the fourth on the fourth floor the problem is that here i don't even have um if i copy anything if i put over anything here it is going to be like even the floor i have to put it there you know and every, you know i cannot you know moving some object is actually free as far as i know but it's still going to cost me money, I believe. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? We can actually try it out because we haven't done it. Oh, no. I cannot try it out. Sorry. Because there are people in there. We are in the middle of the day. So I kind of started this at the wrong time. It should be done night. So what I'm going to do is, and that's why my plan is what I'm going to do here. I'm actually going to go back and start... Let's see if I'm controlling everything. I think, as you can see up here, we are controlling everything. So that's good. That never changed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go here and see who my patients are that waiting for me to play. And I'm going to actually finish up this day, which means that I'm actually controlling everything which is good because I can control whether anybody is hospitalized or not. And I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible because we don't have the money yet to build up anything. So Lisa Taylor is one of the people who are waiting for the uh, player. Rachel Lewis. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of these people. I don't know why they were. That's okay. Lisa Taylor, Daniel Brown. Where are you? No, actually, Rachel you, Lewis. I don't even have Daniel Brown there. No worries. Lisa Taylor, Rachel Lewis, and let's see who else. Cardiology, neurology. Oh, we have Richard Miller. So there are three people waiting for us. We have to remember that because if I miss it, I can be in big trouble. Okay, I think that's all. All right, so let's actually go. I'm not going to change anything yet on the insurance side because I want to first. And there are, anyway, 10 more, 10, 10 more percent people of coming in. Now, just to remind us, it seems to be that this is probably the woman who is... Nancy Brown is in kind of a trouble, but she is, where is she? She's still wandering outside with a deep wound on her leg. I mean, either leg or feet. We don't even know that, but first we have to stop the bleeding when he comes in for sure. Okay. And who else? Let's see who else is like in trouble. 
Nancy Brown for sure. Okay, for now, apparently she's the only one that is in danger. We'll take care of her when she comes in. I mean, what else can we do? Okay, so let's start with Lisa Taylor. Waiting for the player. Uh, player. We already have everything here. I'm going to open this one up. There is nothing we can do anymore. So let's just treat her. All right, and then let's go to... And we basically get rid of her. Like, I'm sorry, but like, we actually already give back the control to the doctors because we really don't need to do anything. Richard Miller, what do you have? Oh, okay, waiting for the player. He has photophobia. Okay, so we definitely are in the neurology. That's good. That's a good start. Mm, what else do we need to do? This could be a microbiome. It could be... Microbiome, microbiome. And these are all different ones. So I'm thinking, let's give him a microbiome sampling. But since that needs to wait, uh, Jonioscopy, here you go, Jonioscopy can be done in just a diagnostic unit. It's actually in the office as well. So that's actually good. Yeah, we can actually use that because he can do it directly. Genioscopy is just simply, what is it? Eye examination used to evaluate the drainage system. So I think I think I, I did it before that they just put something like a little patch of uh, paper into your eye, basically like just under your eye, and just let you wait a little bit and it's going to fill up with water and it has a scale. It's going to show how much you have. It's a very it's a little bit unpleasant, so I think it should be used as a, a medium discomfort. Yeah, because they ask you to look up and they put it right here, and you know you have something in your eye just under it, so it's it's very uncomfortable, but not horrible. You know, not something that you cannot deal with. Okay, so I I can do that for sure. Why not? Uh, physical, we already did. Now, angiography is a whole different animal. But we already did it. Okay, so this one apparently is not the thing because we did all of this. So I can, I think I can really rule it out. You know, it's not. This is not what we have. If I do a microbiome, that's gonna find out any of these let's see if there is anything else that we could do like quickly the problem with tonometry that it's, it's suggesting which is pressures the it measures the pressure of the eye uh, it's not invasive the problem is that it has to be done in the neuro exam unit but actually since he's doing the microbial thing how about if I actually do a tonometry as well? Because he's going to wait in front of the lab anyway for a while. So, okay, so you, you're, you're taken care of. You're going to do... Oh, wait a minute. I haven't done the angiography. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh... Well, where can you do the angiography? It's in the CAG room. Um, should I then wait hold of, of these? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to hold of these. I didn't notice that although it was waiting, my, waiting for the player, actually I already did my move. We just haven't moved over because there are more people who are waiting for something. So, sorry. Rachel U Lewis. Okay, this one we really have to do something. Uh, let's see. We already know that that's his problem. A thrombophlebitis is a condition where the inflammation of veins results in the formation of a blood clot. That is not a good thing. Um, 
Now, what can what else can we do? Uh, physical exam. We already do thorax. Would give him give him give her analgesics, which is pain medicine. But we already give it to her. So I think all we have to do is just just treat her. Yeah, let's just treat her, please. Okay, and I think we can move on. Okay, because Richard Miller. We have that. Nancy Brown is not here yet. So I, I just keep it on her. Okay, so let's just do like this. And Nancy Brown is limping over inside. And we're just going to go like this. Now let me see where I can put this thing because I always have to put it in a place where it doesn't disturb anybody. But at the same time, I want to make sure, okay, so it's going to be roughly around this area. Okay. All right, so what do you have, Lisa Johnson? Uh, headache and tenderness. And she already did some physical, which showed the tenderness, I guess. I'm not sure which one came up with the physical, but it came up with some result. Uh, it can be internal, cardiology, traumatology. I mean, okay, it can be anything. Um... I would do I would do a chest oscillation. Oh wait. There is one that one have chest oscillation. Doesn't really have. However, we do have for example no oh, that's ECG blood physical evaluation C B C urine analysis. I want to do the easy stuff first. So let's do a speech listening. We already did temperature. I think abdominal palpation could find something. We're just going to do the easy stuff first. I haven't done this for a while. That's funny. Neck palpation, would it help? Um, Yeah, it would. Okay, let's do neck palpation. Thorac percussion is not this one. This one here. Oh, uh, well, it, at least it would show that it has some... Uh... Okay, if you do a, uh, like a RT-PCR sampling, what do you need? I'm not sure. I think let's do a blood draw anyway. Oh, that's all we can. Yeah, let's do a blood draw and we can do a lot of different things with it. Okay. I know you don't like it, but that's okay. I think it's enough for now. Let's see this person. Okay. This is kind of simple. We did a physical. We couldn't figure out which one, but we should be able to. Elizabeth Hernandez have a 37% in differential diagnosis. I actually read about it on the internet. Like, it did say that so many people just ignore this function. I found out it a long time ago, and I, found, I find it extremely useful to use differential diagnosis because many times it avoids going to the x-ray, which is obviously a big, big plus. And this guy doesn't look too happy. Uh, but we already know what his problem is. Let's see if uh, temperature, we already we already know that he has a fever. Actually, he had a very high fever originally, so we no, no need to check it. Microbial, no need. And we already did the physical, so we know what he has. So let's just treat him. Does he need NSAIDs? And not really, it's low, so it's fine. And by the way, we already start making some more money, which is very important. Urinary tract infection or kidney stones. Both of them are, luckily, he's in the right place. Oh, wait a minute. By the way, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's actually see what is the usage of the department. So I can actually, I might send some people off for some training. 
So workload, low and medium here. Oh, radiology is high. Low and medium. Very low here. Low, low, medium. Okay, so we don't have like a whole lot of things. So let's actually go... Although today there are more people here. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to like... Okay, let's see how many people we have here. 40 people right now in the office. That's a lot. Uh, patients, I think it's 24 here. 14 now here, but there's going to be a total of 40. Ah, okay. 20. Oh, no. That's, I think, that's the maximum load what they can handle. I don't know. What is this? Like, why is this 2 out of 32? You see, I'm, I've been playing this game for such a long time, and I still don't know it. All I know, I can take a look at here, like how many people, but that's all. You know what? Forget it. Right now, I'm not going to train anybody. I'm just going to keep going for now. So, you have, you don't attract no kidney stones. I want to figure out what's wrong with you. You already have a fever. Um, a differential, I don't think a differential would help, but maybe a CT would. I think a CT would just show very quickly, so let's do that. Or should I do a differential? You know what? Let's try a differential. Let's see if it can figure it out. She has 15%. That's not that bad. I don't think it's going to. If it doesn't, then we go and send, he send, her to, uh, send him to CT. Okay? What about you? Where are you? Go to, there you go, sitting there. You've got, just finished the interview, okay. Uh, again, this is the standard thing. Elizabeth White is uh, 1%, that's not a strong one. Let's do a physical first, and then, if necessary, we send, him, send her somewhere, somebody who has a differential uh, knowledge. We can go there. This one, arm contusion or simple fracture of radius. Okay, so she did her best. She did the differential and it didn't show up anything. So we do have to go and have an x-ray. By the way, we are already at 18,000. So we are nicely getting money. Now, this would be a cardiology problem and these two are just emergency problem so let's see what would actually show us that she does have let's do a thorax percussion okay because these two wouldn't have chest pain and this one would okay so hopefully that's gonna show us that either sh she has these one of these and then all we have to do is Probably find oh find another doctor with yeah this guy has like a little differential diagnosis but not yet we might have to send him over just to the emergency okay so let's do thorax press precaution or how do you call it thorax percussion yeah and just go and we just got a thousand eight hundred ninety dollars from somebody that's nice okay we have Crohn disease it's general surgery stuff we can treat it here but how many people are in general surgery right now three people and we have like three rooms so why don't you head over general surgery and then you can actually do a couple of things. I would do abdominal. 
let's say, does it even have a physical, it doesn't even want to have a physical test, no need. Rest and diet, it doesn't have any NSAID, so we don't have CRP yet. Alright, so I'm just going to send him over to do some abdominal palpation. Doesn't matter, but she has to go over because she's clogging up my system. Okay, this person did the physical. And it didn't help. Now, she only have 1%. That's not a lot. I'm going to send her over to Dana Harris. She has 17 or should I ask her to try? You know what? She has 1%. Let her try. Maybe she can figure it out. If she does, I believe she's going to get some extra x-rays and stuff. We have this person here. Fever and fatigue. I would do physical. Speech listening. Do I need to actually check her fever? Yes, I would because it could be that she has like he has like very high fever, which we would have to treat right away. And I think that's more or less it. Should I do a chest? Not a lot of places. Only this one has some chest issues. Oh no, there are a couple of them. So let's do a chest oscillation as well because it's very quick. Oh, look at that. She actually, she actually did figure out that it is, in fact, with differential diagnosis, we figured it out. Okay. Without having to go any deeper. So, yeah. Now, do we need anything? If you have urine, uh, pain medicine... But that would have been interview, never mind. Interview, rehydration, but it's a low one. Rehydration, antibiotics, we're going to get that anyway. Antireplex, we don't have that issue. Okay, let's just treat her. Uh, him, sorry. All right, good job, Sarah. <laughs> Okay, now this seems to be a neurology of the bat, right? Everything is neurology. How many people are in neurology right now? Two people. Okay, that's not enough. I mean, I think I need to... Okay, let me take a look at my receptions because it's kind of useless, unfortunately. How many people right now here in reception? All right, so there is only one person in reception now. What I'm thinking of is I'm going to send this person. Uh, her, oh, wait a minute. Her reception skills are 100%. So she is as good as can be. Really nothing I can do about it. And again, there are no other skills she can learn right now. I don't know why. So yeah, there's nothing I can do. Never mind. I kind of thought that my receptionist is kind of lousy, but apparently not. Okay, so we already s we're going to send you over to Neurology. And once you're there... I really think we start with a physical and we take it from there. Like there is no need even for a, a blur, uh, what is it? We don't even need to do like a, a basic visual test because every one of them would have a problem other than this one. So no need. You just go over and they're going to take care of you.
I mean, at the end of the day, I'm the one who's taking care of him over there as well, so whatever. Blurred vision, you see, that's all what he has. Let's do a physical. Um, I'm going to do an ophthalmoscopy. And I'm going to do a speech listening, just to see. Okay, go to leg contusion or uh, simple fracture. Yeah, Elizabeth White, your 1% was not enough, unfortunately. So now we don't have a chance, we have to go to the x-ray. All right. Well, I still have to give her a chance to learn. But this time it didn't work out. That's fine. Okay, she has a headache, she went to the cardiology. I don't really know why. It literally can go anywhere. If 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 I was there, I would have gone to just the ER, right? And sort it out from there, so I don't really get it. Some of the people, why they go to a certain uh, department and not to the other, it doesn't really seem to have too much um, sense, does it? So anyway, let's do some physical, a chest, neurological, speech listening. Okay, these are all like very quick things. I mean, unfortunately, in the, oh, hold on. Talks percussion didn't show us anything, but we can still be in all different places. So what can we do now? USG or X-ray chest? A uh, differential is not going to help us, I'm afraid. Or will it? Um, let me try Because you have to leave this office anyway for either one of them. So first, why don't you go to Daniel Jones, who has 8% possibility to figure out with a differential diagnosis what's going on. And worst case scenario, you have to head, one, head to one of these anyway. How about Jane Harris? She is 60 years old. And we already know what his problem is, and it's an orthopedia problem. Okay, again, clogging up my system here. Please don't do that. We have emergency like this many, orthopedia, two people. So I think it's a pretty obvious thing that you're going to go over to orthopedia. Um, physical would give him recommendation. Physical would give him NSAIDs. We already got that. Physical would have... And I say it's, yeah, pretty much nothing, you know. You don't need any of this. You just simply go and just treat him over there, okay? Thank you. I just don't want them. I just don't want them to treat him, treat her here. That's all. Okay, so you are in general surgery, which is a good thing. You can have all different kind of urinary, urinary tract issues. I would say probably a temperature management and a physical first would be the best way to go. And then we might need maybe a USG is the easiest, better than MRI. Can you do, oh, you have actually 22% of differential. So why don't you do a differential? Okay. Okay, infectious mono mononucleosis. Okay, again, shouldn't be my business. Like, these people are just coming to the wrong place. Let's see how many people, again, in internal medicine. Three people, and we have three offices. Going to the waiting room, waiting, going to chair. Now, 
Okay, explain to me something. If we have three offices with three doctors, why are people still waiting outside? Where are my doctors? This is my internal medicine area. He is filling needs, basically taking a crap, filling needs. And he is going, okay, so nobody is right there. Now that is, I don't know, the problem is I cannot fire anybody. But I kind of feel like it, because these people, maybe they went over to eat here? Hold on, where are you? Who are you here? Who are you? Oh, James Gonzalez. Oh, he's training. Oh, oh, he's still training. Okay. He hasn't finished yet. <coughs> he's training acute medicine because he was atrocious. He's a young guy. He is very good at general medicine, but he is in ER and he doesn't know anything about acute medicines, which is really important for him. So that's bad. This guy is the internal medicine guy. Look at that. How about this one here? This one is the other one. So both of them probably went to the toilet. Why did they go to the toilet to the other end of the whole place? Well, there are toilets right here. Right there. This is a toilet. Like, is it? Am I being like, I don't know, like requiring too much from the game? Like, come on. Why do you go, why are the doctors go to the other side of the whole city? And if you just wanted to have some, you know, take a little rest. You could have come here. This is close as well. Where did they go? Unless, of course, they went. Yeah, no, this one is went to that toilet, literally. There's a toilet here. There's a toilet here. There's a toilet here. Here. And he goes all the way to the furthest one. Is this a game trouble or I mixed up something? Which department that toilet belongs to? Okay, let's see. Internal department? No. So why are you going there? Okay, anyway. Let's go back to this person here. Regardless, I'm going to still send you. I'm going to still send you over to the internal medicine and let them treat you okay and we just checked that he oh no we haven't checked oral cavity would give him pain medicine yeah we could do that physical let's go for physical first uh that could give him the same thing and i say it's he's getting rest okay rest He's going to get the corticosteroids because that's what the main treatment is. And for this one, he would get NSAIDs we're already getting. So you just go over and do a physical and that's going to help you. Okay. How about you, sir? You. Okay. That could be anything right now. So you are in the ER. That's a good place. Sweating and nausea. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do a physical, a temperature. You have a nausea and sweating. Let's do a chest. I think for now that's going to be enough. Okay, somebody has some serious possibilities. Maybe this one. Pulmonary embolism would be a very sim very strong, very bad thing. Look at that. Either one of them, at least we're going to get a ton of money. I'm sorry. Oh, however, if we have this, we would need to have 
some hospitalization and we don't want now let's see this guy can have a ton of things that could have him collapse and that's why okay let's see hold on uh, anticoagulants can you give that oxygen 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 no therapy that one is actually okay in Yeah, so this is, I think this is one of the prime exams, and sorry guys that I'm kind of slow about it, but I haven't used hospitalization a lot, and I'm afraid that I'm going to screw things through, screw something up again. If I send him to TC, okay, question is, anticoagulants and oxygen therapy, can I do them in... TC or somewhere, you know, can I, can I do it there? Because if I cannot, I might have to send him away, which obviously I don't want to. Now, if I need oxygen therapy, if I cannot do it in ER, uh, then probably have to send him away anyway. So, this guy is, have a lot of things that could kill him. And I don't want him to collapse. So we can have an ECG, blood pressure, MRI. What else? Okay, you know what? Let's risk it. Um, should I? This is the time when I would need a little help. Let's see. If I send him over, and it turns out that's something that I cannot treat in the ER hospitalization area, then I might have to send him away all the way, and I don't want to do that. Okay, you are still here, so you know what? Let's do first a physical. doesn't even have physical look at that like physical is not even an option here uh yeah you do okay so let's do a physical and let's do a blood pressure okay you are right with the doctor so you should be in a safe place oh nancy brown this is the problem okay this is the one who limped in. Let me see if she... Okay. She was nice. She didn't actually um, have a trail of blood with, with her. That's a nice thing. Thank you. Because some of them do. Okay, so before we do anything, let's stop the bleeding. We don't do any of that, just the bleeding first. And after that, we're going to do a physical, which is going to de decide which one is of the two, okay? And as you can see, the moment we do that, since we are giving her the anti-hemorrhagics, anti which is basically just uh, uh, something that stops the bleeding, she is right away okay. That's good. How about you, sir? Okay, you have some interesting, either an HPS, highly contagious, that could be a bad thing. Or you have just some common infection. Okay. We cannot teach HPS yet, we don't have, in, we don't have the, the infectious disease set up yet. But in any way, we're going to do a temperature measurement. We should do a physical, obviously. 
And let's do a chest escalation. Okay. That should decide which one is the problem, I believe. Hay fever is emergency problem. We already know that that's what you have. That's perfect. We're going to do a nasal cavity inspection. Do we need an, just a normal physical? Not really. She already, he already gets the eye drops. Skin allergy test. Okay, let's do a skin allergy test here because she he has the red eye. Uh, I should do a chest oscillation, but actually it doesn't give me anything new if I do. So I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to do a skin allergy here. Nasal and skin. Physical, saline. Uh, you know what? Let's do that too. All right. Physical as well. Jennifer Jones. Uh, she's got a breathing problem and fatigue. That's the physical, a chest, and a speech listening. Temperature. Okay, for now that's enough. Nancy Green. Okay, what do you have? You have a fever. Okay, that has like literally a hundred possible things causing it. I mean, as you can see, literally there are probably 123 pages each of them are six no the red one is only three so 22 times six is 120 132 so we have 135 possibilities awesome uh we're gonna do obviously a physical we're actually gonna check how high your temperature is And let's do a chest escalation. I mean, that one is like, kind of like unnecessary, I guess, but why not? Okay, influenza A or influenza B? Um, I believe you should do a serologic sampling for that. Uh, however, I also want to do a couple of other things. Hold on, we already did chest and temperature and speech listening so do we need an oral cavity for this one analgesics only yeah we might need to okay so whichever it is i will need an oral and nasal mm. She doesn't have any ability of the differential, and serologic sample is done at the hematology lab. So, because everything is pretty much the same as you can see, everything. So, I'm going to do a serologic sampling, and that's it. Okay, at least you are in the right place. And we did an ophthalmoscopy for you, and it did get rid of a couple of things. Not a lot. Yeah, it showed that you have a blurred vision, which we knew that every single one of them had, so didn't really have that much. <coughs> I'm going to do a neurology test, because these three have photophobia, this one doesn't. I should do a skin allergy, maybe, apparently. Physical, we did that, right? Tonometry, physical, physical, physical. Microbiome, microbiome, that would be like different kind of. Let's do a skin allergy test. That's quick. <laughs> I don't think that we can really do anything. A microbial would really 
show the difference, but it's still too early. It's only 10.58, so let's try the skin allergy and neurological testing, and maybe we can actually know what's wrong with you. The, pro the good thing is that he's staying in the office, which means that I'm not wasting any time, basically. I mean, other than the checking itself. Okay, so you have either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. What's the difference? Ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel in disease that produces ulcers in the large intestine. The exact case is unknown. And Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel in disease that affects the entire intestine. Okay, so I think if we do some kind of a CT or something, that would actually show... But first of all, <coughs> yeah, a CT would actually Crohn disease or colon ulcers, yeah, would be very different. A uh, blood test, not really helpful. I'm going to do a temperature anyway, just to see if we need to give him any uh, medicine like that. Physical, we would have tenderness here. Would weight loss here. So actually, let's do a physical first. Differential diagnosis. This guy actually is very capable of that. So let's abdominal. What would the abdominal do? Nothing really. We already know that we have abdominal cramps. So we already have that covered. Yeah, I'm thinking just directly do a differential diagnosis. And if it's not, then we're going to send you to a CT anterography. Okay. That's the game. That's the game plan. Okay. So this guy. No problem. No problem with his blood. He's still very dangerous. He's still in danger to collapse or something. But I don't want to have him <coughs> in the... I don't want to have him in the TT, uh, TC hospitalization yet because I'm not sure if I can get him out of there. Once I, you know, I... The problem is that it's like the pudding, the, the trial of the pudding is that you have to eat it. If I want to know that I can do it or not, I kind of have to send him there and then figure out, oh shit, I cannot do it. So I don't really want to play that kind of game. Thorax, uh, chest pain, chest pain. So both of them would have chest pain. Uh, CT, that's all what it would do. Chest oscillation, physical, physical, we already did that, so that doesn't come out with anything. No blood pressure already. Okay, let's do a chest oscillation, that's very quick. Okay, so we know that you have arm contusion, finally with an x-ray. Thank you. So let's just treat that as it is. Thank you very much. Okay, friend Scott, you sound bad. Hold on. Let me just make sure that this is friend Scott who possibly want to collapse. William White. No, it's William White. Where are you? Oh, he is still the guy. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Wait. What do you mean that he is going to the doctor? He is. He is at the doctor. He's not going to the doctor. He scared me. All right. So you have nausea and sweating. Nothing came up the first time. Okay. At least, I believe, we reduce some of the possibilities. Um, and we have a lot of things we can do with you. <coughs> Let's do a speech listening. Okay, nausea. So we're going to have abdominal, uh, this one, speech listening. So 
So what would I do if I was a doctor and I just wanted to see that? Here's nausea and sweating. Uh, would I do a thorax percussion? Yeah, I mean, let's do that. The, let's do these two because these are harmless and very quick. Okay, so you don't have that either. No no need for chest escalation. Okay. Thorax percussion would show the same thing. But since you're already there, let's do that. Why would it give me speech listening? The speech listening doesn't is here. We already know that he's anx he's anxious, so we don't need that. Um I don't need to do that. Okay, while he is still there, while he is still there, we are going to, okay, let's just do that before anything. Deep wound on the leg. Okay, so you already, you are not bleeding already, but obviously you know what's wrong with you. We already have all the different uh, symptoms. And... Yeah, you get everything. Perfect. Okay, so we did figure out, Joe Young with his 22%, he figured out that with a differential that he does have, in fact, a urinary tract infection. No, we don't need urinary tests. Uh, it would have that dehydration but it's a very little one so nothing important and we already have that so let's just give him the full treatment there you go let's see uh, do you have like pain okay you need some analgesics okay because that's uh, <coughs> whenever something is medium I always give them that medicine just to make sure Okay, so you have giant cert arteritis. The neurological uh, speech and chest actually nicely <coughs> narrowed it down all the way. We still have one uh, hidden symptom. We don't know if you have a fever yet or not. So we're going to do that. And geography, what would it do? Only this one. Okay, CRP would give him NSAIDs. But it's very low. Ophthalmoscopy, nothing. So I'm not going to give him... Actually, I cannot even give him ophthalmoscopy, but that's fine. Um, I'm not going to give him angiography right now. <laughs> because he would get... I mean, he would get that anyway. So let's just do a temperature test. And she's still over there, so she's in safe hands. And if... If she has a uh, fever, then she would have some fever medicine. Other than that, everything is the same. Okay, look at that. We actually managed to figure it out. Lisa Hall, thank you. Now we know that this is the problem. And it's a general surgery issue. And let's double check again. How many people in general surgery? Four. Uh, one is treated. Two are examined. Okay, and we have how many doctors right now? Three doctors. Okay, you know what? You guys can handle him. Let's go over to general surgery. And we already checked your fever, right? Yeah, so just treat him, that's all. Crohn's disease. Okay, with abdominal palpation, we actually narrowed it down. Or was it just an extra symptom? Oh no, he was originally in a different place, so we sent... Or did she? Okay, I kind of forgot. Yeah, we did an abdominal palpation, and that showed... 
abdominal pain. Yeah, that happens. So we don't need that. Stool analysis, we don't need that. Blood test, no, no. CRP would give NSAIDs. Uh, we don't give NSAIDs yet, but it's actually low. Something that is not important. We already got the corticosteroids. Vitamin supplementation, we don't get it, but again, it's something low. Whatever is low, I don't really sweat about. Just treat her. Should he get? Should she get a rest? Uh, fatigue? Not really. It's just low. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we already know that it's either this or that. That was a third one originally. Now, which one is better to do an X-ray or? A USG. Which one is quicker? SG, uh, USG or X-ray? Which one should we do? Discomfort low, discomfort low. How many people are <coughs> waiting here at the X-ray? Really nobody. Where is the X-ray machine? Is It's here, sorry. What is he looking for? X -ray. Oh no, he is looking for X-ray. So let's him let's let's do a USG then. <laughs> let's do a USG. Okay. William White, he is still in danger, but now we did a thorax percussion and it didn't show up anything. Now I think it's time to take to do something more important. Let's do an ECG. Okay, let's do an ECG, which is very quick, I believe. Cardiography unit. And the angiography, I believe it's also... No, it's in the CAG room. Which one is more important? This one... Irregular heartbeat, this one is embolism. Uh, that could be a bigger problem, right? An MRI would show... Uh, I'm not sure which one is more dangerous. I... So ECG is electrocardiography, so they just put some stuff on you. And angiography is probably worse. So let's go and do an ECG first. You know what? Uh, no, let's just do one of them. But if I want to make sure that it's really not this one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better. Like if I do this one first, if it turns out that this is the problem, then we don't need any more of these. If I, but if it's not, then I would have to still send him to do different places. If I do one of these, and it turns out that this is the one, then I would not have to send him to there, but I would have to send him here. So that's two only. If it turns, if I don't doesn't find anything, I still the worst case scenario is that we have three. So I think we're gonna start with the ECG here. Let's just hope that he's not collapsing in the meantime. Actually, I should have given him some bronchiolitis. Yeah, I should have treated him first. Sorry, let's hope that he survives. Uh, conjunctive, okay, we already know what your problem is exactly, so I don't even have to look. You basically just treat him. Bronchitis. Bronchi, no, bronchitis, yeah, emergency, infectious, and also emergency. Now, it's 
pretty sure that it's going to be emergency because I don't have an infectious disease yet. But anyway, we're going to have to wrap it up quite fairly soon, actually. I'm going to go for heading fever. Okay, we already did some of it. So what else can we do quickly? I think we're going to do an oral... Less than oral cavity and a nasal cavity, okay? He, she is at the doctor, so we can do that. <coughs> and also a thorax percussion. So this would show a uh, nasal cavity, oral cavity would show one of these. And it's actually dry cough, a different... Okay, oral cavity, nasal cavity, and let's do also a thorax percussion because all of them can be done right there. Okay, and let's see one more here. You are already here, but you need to be now. You don't need the angiography because we know that you have that. CRP is just slight, so you just go and you don't have fever, that's the point. And you're just going to get treated and you get $800. Jennifer Jones looks like it has, it has medium, but apparently could be something that is making him collapse, which could be a problem. Okay, I'm going to first give him some bronchiolitis. Okay. We already did all of these. Uh, so many things we can do. Uh, there is nothing with speech listening. Okay. All right, guys, you know what? It's a very complicated diagnosis here, and I'm out of time. We already managed to treat 13 people we it's we actually only spent a little bit more than an hour in the clinic because here's the thing when i have so many different patients and i control everything time running very slow as you can see i i check on multiple people and then the time goes on for like a minute and then i check on other people so basically handling a full hospital is quite a lot of work but as you can see we already have twenty one thousand dollars which i don't think is enough for what we want because what we want here if you remember the main thing i'm getting money for because it blocks me from designing i want to be able to transfer these things up to the top floor no, not that. Here. To the top floor. Okay? Once I transfer those here, I can actually redesign this whole floor, make it into pathology, and then the design of the second floor is done. Then design-wise, we really only need to do mainly the, uh, the infectious disease. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to finish it here. Let me save because that's the thing that I always forget. So we're going to save. As you can see, I only have one autosave, which means that we only passed one full hour in the hospital. <coughs> We're going to say diagnosing. Doesn't matter. It just reminds me that I did um, actually manage to save the game so if you are here guys thank you so much for coming don't forget to hit the like button if you like and hit the uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't subscribed yet so you can find me next time <coughs> please leave me a comment uh i mean i've been doing this uh, series for a long time i do it my way i mean it's a little bit different from other people but please leave me a comment and let me know how do you how you like it the way it is and also 
if you want to see maybe some other games um, let me know although right now i have this and the uh, the ostriv which is a, a village building i also have a metro Redu metro 233 redux and the metal gear solid but they are a little bit different um, I don't have anything else right now in the schedule, but let me know what you think. And if you have any other uh, suggestions, whatever, let me know. But I'm going, I have to say bye-bye to you. Thank you so much, and i see you next time. I mean, bye-bye.